Good morning and welcome to the Pay What You Can live stream yoga class with me, Lexi. I will be taking us through a hour long uh, vinyasa style class today. Um, let's just go through the little spiel. So pay what you can. Donations are greatly appreciated, but they are not mandatory. If you would like, hi baby, to uh, contribute in any way, check the live chat. I've dropped all the links there as well as below. Also on the live chat, you will find a link to the playlist that I will be moving and grooving to today, which you can definitely listen to as well or put on any music that works for you. Don't bite me. <laughs> um, also, uh, just a little bit of liability. This is a physical asana class, even though we'll have a short little lecture discussion in the beginning. So please really listen to your body as we move and groove today. If something feels great, awesome, go with it, roll with it, flow with it. If it doesn't come on out, adjust, modify. You can have props, there's a block back there. You can use pillows, books, blankets, whatever works for you um, to make this practice more the most accessible for you today. Is that, that's that, that's that. Okay, and without further ado, Let's start the little lecture thing. So for the month of May, we're covering the yamas, the moral uh, restraints or abstinence, abstinences. I, I'm not gonna attempt the word again. You know what I'm going for. Of the first limb of yoga. So last week we talked about himza, which was non-harming, non-violence, and that isn't just physically, it's also mentally. And this week we're going to discuss satya, which is truthfulness or abstaining from falsehoods. Now, We'll share a link with where I have information um, down below. Um, I do have books on this, which are really fascinating, but they're all packed up. So I'm using websites. Anyway, so satya, truthfulness. It means so much more than simply telling lies, just like ahimsa is so much more than physical uh, harm. The word sati literally translates to true essence or true nature. And Sanskrit is a verbational language, so each word has so much more than a label. Um, it literally holds true to the essence of the word. Because of this, satya also holds meanings of unchangeable, to which has no distortion, that which is beyond distinctions of time, space, person, and reality. So what this means is that our thoughts, emotions, and moods are extremely interchangeable, yet there are things that create our own truth and our whole experiences that are unchangeable. So how does this apply, this truthfulness? Well, again, it's more than just speaking lies. It's about staying true to the entire essence of who you are as a person, as a soul, as a being. And this truthfulness isn't just towards other people. It's also being truthful with yourself. So the way to kind of look at it and kind of bring Ahimsa back into it is last week, a concept of Ahimsa would be um, harm against yourself. Uh, in the example of asana classes, pushing yourself too hard, too far, causing injury. Satya is kind of the same basis here where you really have to be honest, like, can I do this today? Taking a little bit of hit at the ego so that way you stay true to who you are, what you're able to do and what you're capable of. Uh, let's see. I just want to find one more little quote I had pulled up about it, which doesn't seem to want to be here. Okay, so um, this concept of being unchangeable. So we often uh, identify completely with our emotions and our irrational thoughts. I'm a bad person because of this. I'm not good because of that. And we need to bring in the idea of the essence that we are not our thoughts, we're not our feelings, we're not our emotions, you know? We're something so much greater. So it's important that when those thoughts and those changeable things try and come into our reality, we remind ourselves, we're honest, this isn't who I am. This, this unchangeable, this kind of chaotic thing isn't me at all. And it kind of gives you a bit of relief because whatever you're kind of going through isn't actually who you are. And having this daily practice helps us unidentify with those irrational thoughts and just take some time observing each as it rises, watching as it passes without getting caught up in it. Um, obviously, this might seem kind of difficult at first, but don't worry, the more you practice it, the easier it will get. So, excuse me, my cats are causing terrors. I really don't know how long I'm going to keep them in here for. But without further ado, let's get to our mats. Let's get to the asana today. If you have the music, go ahead and cue it up. 
going to try that super fun thing of seeing if I can keep it. I don't know how well it's going to work with these guys, but it's fun. So um, today's class, this awesome, this little bit of flow, is actually going to flow around moon salutations instead of sun salutations. And this is partially because I'm trying to practice ahimsa. I kind of injured myself earlier this week, so I don't want to do chaturangas or anything like that. That could cause me injury, so I figure we could move and groove in a way that's going to be a bit safer. And that's their moon salutations. So with moon salutations, sun salutations, we usually face the top of the mat, or back and forward. Moon salutations, we're going to be on the side plane of the mat. So to make this as simple as possible for us, always have your right hip towards the top of the mat, left hip towards the back. With a moon salutation, we are kind of moving in a circular motion. So without breaking down the poses just yet, what's going to happen is essentially we're going to step out with our left foot, do a bunch of fun stuff on our left, work our way to center, do all those fun things in reverse on the right and come up, and then step the right foot to meet the left. That is one side. So then to do the other side, the left hip back and back, we step the right foot out, we do everything fun to the right, we come to center, do everything to the left, and then step the left to meet the right. Pretty simple. Uh, for this first round or two as we go through, uh, we're not going to really link breath with movement. I just want you to get the basis of the poses and what we're doing. And as we go through another round or two, both sides, we'll add on and we'll kind of work the breath in. So let's start standing at the top of the mat, right hip to face the top of the mat. So that way we're already ready to go where we're going to go today. Let's bring our hands to heart center and really feel how our engagement starts. So like last week, let's pick those toes up off the floor. Let's feel the weight slightly shift into the heels. You can press the big toe mound down and then the pinky toe mound. Checking to see if you have the two points by the heel rooted in. And then very slowly starting from the pinky, place it down, ring toe, middle toe, index toe, big toe. Okay, so feel a slight pull up in the arch of your feet as the engagement works its way up through the legs. Tailbone might tuck slightly, core engages, ribs knit in, shoulders pull down and back, arms come out to the side, spread those fingertips wide, keep the neck parallel with the floor. Just take one full cleansing breath here. Inhale, exhale, side out. Beautiful. Bring those hands to heart center. Inhale here. And then exhale, bow chin to chest. Stay here for two deep breaths, feeling that gentle stretch in the back of the neck. Good. Begin to slow down that breath, taking a nice long inhale. And a nice long exhale. Good. As you inhale, keep the body nice and strong and engaged. Just lift the crown of the head and knees and bring your knuckles to your third eye. Taking a little mantra I learned from yoga with Adrian this week because yoga teachers do mean yoga teachers. It felt very appropriate for covering satya. While here, just simply ask that you were able to see and understand the truth. Bring the knuckles down to the throat. Ask that you're able to speak the truth and your truth. The knuckles down to the heart. Ask that you're able to feel the truth. Truthfulness is so much more than simply being honest, not telling lies. Truthfulness encompasses our whole being, our whole soul, so we can be the most authentic version, the most honest version of who we are. We are not our thoughts, our emotions, our feelings. We are so much more. Take a deep inhale together. Exhale, sigh out, let go. Beautiful. You can flutter the eyes open, drop the hands down. 
And let's begin. So let's inhale, scoop the palms up to the ceiling. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hands, heart center. Good. Inhale, sweep them up again. Exhale, steeple grip, so interlace. And then inhale, lift up just a tiny bit more. Exhale, go ahead, take a lateral stretch towards the left side. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, take it to the right. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands, heart center. Good. Just from here on out, just focus on nice deep breaths. We're not going to focus too hard on the breath with movement here. So keeping yourself nice and grounded in that right foot, maybe dip into the right hip, pop the left knee out, and then use the index finger of the right hand to push that right hip back in. It's a nice engagement here. Just lift the left knee up off the mat. Beautiful. From here, open the left knee to the left side, and then go ahead and step on out. You can spin those right toes to be 45 degrees and find a nice strong stance here. Inhale. And exhale, bend to the knees. Take goddess pose. And if you don't step up quite wide enough for goddess pose, you can go ahead and adjust. This is the first pose of the day. So if you don't want to take it where your thighs are parallel to the floor, that's fine. Modify here. We find a little movement, a little sweat. Uh, take another full breath. Perfect. Let's go ahead and rise up out of our goddess pose, taking those right toes and making them parallel with the back edge of the mat and pointing our left toes, sorry, front of the mat, right foot, back toes point towards the back of the mat. Let's bring our arms nice and wide out to a T. We'll inhale here. And then exhale, hinge, come down, left hand to the inside of the left leg, right arm overhead. For triangle pose. <laughs> With this triangle pose, don't worry about getting the hand down to the left foot too quickly. <laughs> you can have a lock here and the arm <laughs> can be up the calf. You can even have the tiniest little micro button in the knee as well. Just work to have your shoulders stacked. And again, if they're not there just yet and you're a little modified, that's all right. We're going to come back. Good. Let's take one more full breath here. Exhale, let go. Nice. Let's drop that right hand down to the inside of the left foot. You're going to step those right toes in so they're pointing in the same direction as the left. Inhale, halfway lift, pyramid pose. Both legs are straight. And then use the exhale, either stay in this halfway lift or fold on down knee to nose. If the knee does not, or if the nose does not meet the knee, that's okay. You do really want to work to keep the legs straight. You don't really want to have a deep bend here. So maybe just come up to the halfway lift with me. It's fine. No worries. Stay here for one more breath. And exhale. From here, now bend into the knee so you can plant those fingertips down. We're going to step those right toes all the way back, bend the knee, and come down to a nice low lunge. And for this first low lunge, as we're modifying everything, you can take it into a 90-90. You don't have to go super deep. And whenever you're ready, use your next inhale. Sweep those palms up to the seat. Hug your inner thighs together. Have a slight tuck in that tailbone, core is engaged. Maybe you're really stacked up, you'll feel it in your right hip flexor. Uh, take one more breath. Beautiful. From here, let's put both the hands down towards the mat, and then bring that left hand to the inside of the left foot. We're going to make our way to a side lunge. So with the hands planted, let's go ahead and tuck our back toes, lift that right knee up off the mat, spin the left toes towards the right, and the right toes towards the right. So your right is parallel with that front edge, left is parallel with the back edge. Go ahead and sit on down. Look out, buddy. So you do want to work to get the heel towards the mat, but if you're not there yet, that's fine. Fingertips can stay down as a kickstand, right? Knife edge of the right foot can also stay down, or maybe you turn those toes up towards the ceiling, Challenge the balance with the hands on up. If you come down to the kickstand, that's totally okay. Stay here for one more deep breath. 
Beautiful. Let's plant the hands to the inside of those left toes. Spin the right down. Press into the left leg as you come all the way up halfway. Lift wide legged fold. And then go ahead and use your next exhale. Hold yourself on down. Take the hands wherever you feel comfortable. Big toes. Walk it out to a wide leg down dog. Walk it in. Maybe midline. And that is the first half of this side. So now we're going to make our way towards the right. So doing everything in reverse. Let's take one cleansing breath here. Inhale, we'll all half a lift and sort it. And exhale, bend into that right knee, come into the side lunge. The heel comes up, don't worry about it. Take your variation of the side lunge. You can do it. Beautiful, let's lower those fingers back down to the mat. I'm going to frame my right foot as I spin my left toes down. Press into those right leg and then spin the right toes towards the top of the mat. Left toes as well. Lower that left knee down. Low lunge, now with the right leg. Use your next inhale, sweep the palm up. Great. Stay here for one more breath. Why not? Beautiful. Float those hands back down to the mat. Frame the foot. Untuck those back toes. Lift the back knee up off the mat. You're going to step it in about halfway. And then use the next inhale. Straighten the front leg. Lift halfway up. Pyramid pose. Stay here as you exhale. Or if you're really into it this morning, exhale knee to nose. Perfect. From here, let's take that right hand to the inside of the right foot. Step those left toes back further, parallel with the back edge of the mat. And inhale, heel the left arm up to the ceiling, triangle pose. Remember, take the modification if you need it. Use props if you need it. Bring those knees up towards the fingertips. So if your balance is a little shaky, down towards the toes. Good. As you inhale, we're going to lift all the way up. Spin our toes to be 45 degrees, and then take our goddess. Right? Maybe find you get a millimeter deeper now that you're back in goddess. Maybe not. It's fun. Good. Let's inhale, stand all the way up. Spin our toes to be parallel with each other. And to finish off this side, we're going to step those right toes to match the left. Left hip back of the mat. And so hurts to turn. So that is one side. So now we work the other way, and that's the complete salutation. So this time we're going to kind of incorporate our breath a little bit more, only hold for about two breaths. And then when we kind of go back and do left and right again, we'll add some variations. We'll play a bit. So again, we're sitting back in that left hip facing the back of the mat. Let's inhale, sweep those palms up to the ceiling, steeple grip. Exhale, hinge and take a lateral stretch towards the right. Inhale up to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Go ahead and sink into the left hip now. Pop that right knee. Left index finger to press the left leg on in. Come up on those right toes. Lift the right leg up. Step it on out. Toes 45 degrees. Use your next exhale. Sit down in the goddess. Stay here. Good. One more breath. Good. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Left toes parallel, back edge of the mat. Right toes to the top, arms up to a T. Inhale here. Exhale, come down to your triangle pose. Right hand inside of right leg. Left hand overhead. Stay here. Good. One more deep breath. Use the exhale of this breath to lower the left hand down to the mat. Step those left toes in about halfway. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, stay in your half lifted period or take it down. Good. Last exhale. Beautiful. Stay here as you inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down to the mat. Step the left toes all the way back. Lower that left knee on down. Inhale, sweep the palms up to the sky. Lunge. Good. 
Beautiful. Last inhale. Exhale, bring those hands to the inside of the right toes. Go ahead as you inhale, lift the back knee up off the mat, pivot the toes towards the left, sink on down, side lunge. Good. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, keep it up. Good. One more inhale. Last exhale. Good. Go ahead, lower those fingertips down to the mat. As you inhale, press into the right leg, come up halfway, right legged. Exhale, hinge and fold. Doing what you did before, maybe taking a slightly different variation on your right leg. Like fold, take three deep breaths while I kick my cat out of the room. Good, two more. Beautiful, let's work our way back around. So as you inhale, halfway, lift, hands to the hips. Exhale, side lunge into that left leg now. Stay here for two breaths. Good. Let's lower the hands down here. As you inhale, lift up out of the side lunge a little bit and exhale, pivot the toes to face the back of the mat. Lower that right knee down. And then inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky. Go lunge. Two deep breaths here. That's not working anymore. <laughs> Good, one more. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat. As you inhale, untuck that back toes. Bring the right knee up off the mat. Step it in. Exhale here, and then inhale, halfway lift the pyramid pose. Exhale, stay here or fold. Two breaths. Last full breath. Use the exhale, bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Send those right toes back, parallel the back edge of the mat. And then inhale, send the right arm up to the ceiling, triangle pose. Okay, two more breaths. Let's inhale, we lift ourselves all the way up, point our toes 45 degrees. Exhale, we'll sit down, God's pose. Two breaths. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, bring your toes parallel with each other. Inhale, root into that right leg. And exhale, go ahead and step those left toes to meet the right. Hands on right center. And there we go. We've now completed both sides. Breath counts a little off, but that's fine. You know, we move, we groove, we figure it out. It's all right. We're going to go again. This time we had about two breaths in each uh, pose, but this time we'll add some variation, some fun. So we're actually going to incorporate tree pose as we start now. So we're at the top of the mat, right? Hip faces the top of the mat. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep those palms up. And release the grip, and then exhale, lateral stretch to the left. Inhale up to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale, hands heart center. Really ground into that right leg as you inhale. Let's take tree pose. You can keep it pretty low. Left foot to the inside of the right leg. Stay here for two. One more. Half a breath more inhale. Exhale, step out and sink right into God's. Good. Two breaths. Inhale, rise up, arms up to a T, set yourself up from triangle pose. And then exhale, left hand down to the inside of the left leg, right arm overhead. Stay here for two. And 
Go ahead and lower that right hand down. Step those right toes in to face the back of that. Inhale, halfway lift, pyramid pose. Exhale, stay halfway lift it. Or fold yourself all the way down. If you're all the way down, halfway lift it. Maybe bring those hands down to the floor and send those right toes back, taking a supported warrior three. One. Stay here for one more deep breath. Exhale, lower those right toes down. Inhale, halfway lift again, period. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Now step the right toes all the way back, right knee down. Low lunge, left side. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, interlace those fingers. Take a lateral stretch towards the right. Thighs still in, hug towards each other. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring both hands down to the inside of the right foot. Use the inhale, lift the right leg off the mat, and then exhale, pivot the toes towards the right, come down into your side lunge. Stay here, two breaths. Good. Hands come down to the mat on that last exhale. And inhale, send yourself up. Halfway lift, wide lift, fold. Exhale, fold all the way down. Not staying here as long. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, side lunge towards the right. Two breaths. Good. Hands come down, frame the foot. Use the next inhale to pivot towards the top of the mat and lower that left knee down. Next inhale, sweep the palms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let's go ahead and change it out. Bring our hands behind our low back, interlace. Inhale, send the fingertips towards the floor, the chest with the ground of the head. Exhale, go ahead and release the arms out wide to a T. Inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, put the hands down to the mat, frame the foot. Inhale, tuck the back, toes, lift the knee up, step the foot in, halfway lift, all one movement. Exhale, stay here, pyramid pose, halfway lift, or take it all the way down, or make it fun, fingertips down to the mat, send those left toes back, support it, warrior three, toes point down towards the floor. One more breath. Use the exhale, lower those left toes back down, and then inhale, halfway lift, pyramid pose. Exhale, right hand to the inside of the right foot, send those left toes back. Inhale, sweep the left arm up to the ceiling. Try and move pose. Good. Inhale, let's come all the way up, pivot our toes 45 degrees. Exhale, take goddess. This time as you inhale, drop the right arm in, press the right hand into the left. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, send the left arm in for shoulder. Exhale, center. Inhale, rise all the way up. Keep legs where they are. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, spin those toes to be parallel with each other. And then exhale, shift the weight. Step the right toes towards left. Back to the Great. Let's go ahead and finish up the side. So back and left, left hip. Inhale, send those arms up. Exhale, lateral stretch to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, hands front center. Root down in that left leg. Inhale, come up on those right toes. Take tree pose. Two breaths. Last inhale. Use the exhale, step out to your goddess, squat on down. Two deep breaths, maybe take half the arms here. Keep the tailbone slightly tucked. Beautiful. Inhale, rise all the way up. Parallel back toes, front toes point towards the top of the mat. And then exhale into your triangle. Two breaths. Last inhale. 
Use that exhale, flip the hand down to the mat, step those left toes in. Inhale, halfway lift, stay here, or exhale, just shift. Warrior three, can be supported, no worries. Just take a single full breath with me. Good, stay here as you inhale, you're strong, you've got this. Exhale, lower those left toes back down. Then you melt over the knee, then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we lower the hands down, we slightly bend into the knee and we send those left toes back, drop down on the left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the ceiling, we lunge, interlace, and exhale, lateral stretch to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, lateral to the left. Heavy breathing here, it's fine. Inhale, from the center. Exhale, let's flip the hands down to the inside of the foot. Inhale here, tuck those back toes, spin towards the left, and then exhale. Take your side lunge. Stay here for two. Last one. Good, hands can come down to mat. Inhale, press into that right leg. Halfway lift, right legs. Exhale, go ahead, hinge you fold. Inhale, we halfway lift, down, staying long. Exhale, side lunge to the left. Stay here for two. Good. Lower the hands down and train the foot. As you inhale, pivot yourself towards the top of the mat. Then exhale, drop the left knee down. Inhale, bring it down. Sorry, send the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, go ahead and interlace the hands behind your back. Inhale, lift the chest of the crown, bring your tips down towards the floor. Exhale, release the arms out to a T. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, put the hands down to the mat, bring the foot. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift the right knee up off the mat, and then step the right foot on in. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay here, exhale, take your warrior three, support it or not, one full breath. Use that exhale, lower those right toes down. Inhale, half foot. Exhale, left hand inside left foot, step those right toes back. Inhale, sweep the right arm up to the ceiling triangle. Good, one more breath. Inhale, we come all the way up to those toes, 45 degrees. Exhale, we meet goddess pose. Hands on the knees. Inhale, tip the right shoulder in. Exhale, center. Inhale, tip the left shoulder in. Exhale, center. Inhale, we rise all the way out. Pivot those toes. Exhale here. Let's just stay for a moment in five-pointed star. Good. Inhale, root into that right leg. Exhale, step the left foot to meet the right foot, hands for the center. Beautiful. Take one full cleansing breath. Inhale here. Exhale, let go. One more time, because why not? Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. So we're going to do all that again. Now one breath, one movement to the best of our abilities. That's going to be a fun time. So, right hip, top of the mat. Let's inhale, sweep those palms up. Exhale, lateral stretch to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the right. Inhale. Exhale, hands for center. Root into that right leg. Inhale, right into your tree pose. Exhale, step it out, sit down, goddess. Inhale, rise out of goddess. Pick up those toes. Exhale, bring yourself into triangle pose. Stay here as you inhale. Exhale, lower those hands down, step the toes in. Here a bit as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stay here or float yourself, warrior three. One breath. Use the exhale, lower those right toes back down. Take the very briefest fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step those right toes back, lower the right knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, lateral stretch to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, both hands to the inside of the left toes. Inhale, lift the back leg up. Exhale, pivot, lower down for side lunge. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, press into the left leg, halfway lift, wide legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift yourself up again. Exhale, side lunge, right leg. One breath. And come down. Use the next inhale. Pivot the toes towards the top of the mat. Exhale, lower down the lunge. Inhale, sweep those palms. Exhale, hands interlace at the low back. Inhale, send the fingertips towards the floor. Lift the chest with the crown. Exhale, bring the arms up to your teeth. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Inhale, lift the back leg up, step the left toes in, halfway lift. Exhale, stay here or float into your warrior three. One breath. Exhale, lower those left toes down, take a full pyramid pose. Inhale, lift yourself up halfway. Exhale, right hand to the inside of the right foot, step those left toes back. Inhale, peel the left arm up to the sky. Exhale. Inhale, we lift all the way up, pivot the toes. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, dip the right shoulder. Exhale, center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we lift all the way up, pivot the toes. Exhale, step right foot to meet left, hands right center. Good. Inhale, sweep it up, we're just going. Exhale, lateral to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale, heart center, rooting the left leg. Inhale, right to your tree pose, right foot meets left leg. Exhale, step it out, sink it down, goddess. One breath. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up, pivot the toes, get ready. Exhale, arms come out, drop down, try the pose. Stay here. Use the exhale, float the hands down, step the left toes in. Inhale, halfway lift, stay in your pyramid pose, or exhale, warrior three. Inhale here. Exhale, lower those toes down, take a brief fold back in pyramid. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the mat, bend that front knee, left knee comes down. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, lateral stretch to the right, those thighs hug in. Inhale, send it up. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale, float those hands down inside of the leg. Inhale, lift the back leg up. Exhale, pivot, come down, side lunge. One breath. Good. Inhale, press into the right leg, halfway lift. Exhale, fold yourself down. Inhale. Come on. Exhale. Take it to the left. Got my arms doing for a second. It's fine. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Hands frame the foot. You pivot and turn towards the back of the mat. Exhale. Lower down. Low lunge. Inhale. Sweep it up. Exhale. Bring the hands to the low back. Inhale. Interlace. Open up. Exhale. Arm swing out to the teeth. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, tuck those back toes, lift it up, step it in. Exhale, pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stay in your pyramid or take your warrior three. Inhale. Exhale, those right toes back down. Pyramid pose again. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left hand inside, left foot, send those right toes back. Inhale, sweep the arm up, triangle, almost there. Exhale. Good. Inhale, take it all the way up, pivot those toes. 
Exhale, balance. Inhale, dip the right shoulder. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take it all the way up. Bring those toes together. Exhale, step left foot to meet right. Hands up, heart center. Good. Take three full clearing breaths here. Use your inhale, bring those fingertips towards your third eye. Again, bring back that mantra. Second breath, fingertips to the throat. Third one, fingertips towards the heart. Beautiful. From here, you can turn to face the top of the mat. Inhale, send the fingertips all the way up. Exhale, sit down into the briefest of chair poses. Remember to have good form, though. Tuck those tailbones flat back. Inhale, come up on our tippy toes. Exhale, sound the tippy toes, but sink all the way down to the hips, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, gear in the tiniest of like a supported toe stand. And then very slowly, exhale, you can shift the way back and come all the way down. And we go back towards the back of the mat. And we get ready to slow down here. So let's inhale, hug the right knee into the chest. And then exhale, allow that right knee to open up towards the right side from Janu. Serious enough. The left foot meets the, sorry, right foot meets the inside of the left thigh. We're going to inhale, send those hands up to the sky. And then exhale, you can bring it through heart center or just walk it on down. Your hamstrings are feeling a little tight, nice little micro bend in the knees, totally fun. Just keep your back nice and flat. That means you don't get down here because you're rounding. That's fine. I'm up here today. I'm being honest with myself that this is what I'm capable of. Good. One more deep breath. Inhale, begin to bring yourself back all the way. Exhale, hands, heart center. Good. Inhale, let's bring that right knee back up towards the chest. Exhale here. Let's go ahead and inhale, cross that right leg over the left. Exhale here. And now we'll get ready to twist. So bring the left arm, sorry, right arm behind you. We're going to inhale, sweep that left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, hook left elbow, right knee, twist. Maybe inhale, you find a tiny bit more length of the spine. And then exhale, you're going to look over that right shoulder, keep those left toes, point it up towards the ceiling. And one more deep breath. Great. Inhale, we're going to untwist ourselves. Exhale, keep the right foot where it is and just lower the right knee down. The right foot will actually come up off the mat and just be resting on the shelf of the left knee. If you have half lotus in your practice and you bring that right foot into the left hip flexor, awesome. You're going to take a fold here, but if you can't do this, I'll give you the other option. For those that are folding, just like with Janu, inhale, sit up tall, exhale, you're just going to fold down. If that's not where you want to go today, we're going to do seated figure four. So plant the hands behind you. Inhale, bend into that left knee. And exhale, we hang out here. If the right knee is really in towards the chest, just begin to work it to be a little bit more open. Maybe rock side to side with it, forward and back. For those in our half lotus, go ahead and get yourself there. We'll all inhale together and exhale into the pose that we want to be in. Figure four seated people, be sure to keep that right knee, uh, not right knee, right foot, but. Got one more deep breath.
Half lotus, inhale, bring yourself up. Figure four people, we're gonna exhale, send the leg back down. Half lotus, bring the ankle back to the shelf of the left knee. We're all gonna just chill here as the inhale. Sit up tall, and then exhale, just slide that right ankle down to be on top of the left ankle. So cross legs. Inhale, send the arms up. Exhale, go ahead through hands, heart center, and then hinge yourself forward, walk it down. Good, one more deep breath. Inhale, walk yourself back up, nice tall spine. Exhale, release the cross. And let's switch sides. So as you inhale, hug the left knee into the chest. Exhale, send the left knee down to the left side, left foot meets right by. Bang for Jane, right toes point to the sky. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, go ahead, fold, walk yourself down. Right toes, stay flexed. And just work that left knee open. Get one more deep breath. Inhale, take it all the way up. And exhale. Good. Inhale, let's bring the left knee up. Exhale here, hug it in. Good. Preparing to cross. Inhale, you can just cross that left ankle over the right leg. Left foot is just outside of the right knee. And breathe however you're breathing. Let's go ahead and place the left hand behind us. Inhale, send the right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, hook the right elbow to the left knee as you begin to twist here. You don't go all the way too deep because we're going to inhale, find length of the spine. And then exhale, twist, look over the left shoulder. Right toes are still pointed up towards the ceiling. Good. Take your one more deep breath. Let's inhale, return to center. Exhale, we're just going to lower the left knee towards the left side. The left ankle is on top of the shelf and the right knee. Half lotus, people, you know where to go, so link up your breath. Bring the left leg into the right hip flexor. Those that are in figure four, follow me. Plant the hands behind you, and as you inhale, bend into that right knee, bringing the left leg close to the chest. Exhale, stay here, press into those palms, and lift the chest a little bit. And very gently, maybe work side to side. Good. One more deep breath. Great. Half lotus, fold up people. Inhale, lift yourselves up. They did four people, we're gonna exhale, extend the leg. All together, we'll all inhale, sit up tall, bring our leg back to the shuffle of the right knee, and then exhale, send those left toes down, crossing the ankles. Get yourself situated as you inhale, sit up nice and tall, and then exhale, hinge and fold. Good. Take two more deep breaths. Nice. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. Exhale, on the cross the legs. Good. So we did a fair amount with our hips, so let's finish up with our hips. Uh, from here, inhale, bend the knees towards the chest. Exhale, open the knees up wide, feet come together. Baddha Konasana, Butterfly Pose. From here, I'll give you your two options. You can either inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, hold. Otherwise, inhale, sit up nice and tall, and exhale, stay here. Here for a little foot massage, because why not? 
for those folding, just as with our other fold. If you're rounding to get down, don't do that. Stay nice and tall. Maybe you only inch a couple inches forward, and that's all right. Either way, show your feet some love because why not? Good. Inhale, let's get ourselves all the way. And exhale, extend the legs long. Inhale, just a nice tall spine. You bring the hands to the hips. Exhale, bend into the knees and lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Keep the knees bent, feet in front of the boots. Good. So we just did bottom canasana. So why not supta bottom canasana? Inhale, here you can rest the hands wherever you feel most comfortable. Exhale, those knees go wide again. That feet come together. If you have your props, you can support the knees. Otherwise, when we use your hands, just Assist yourself, assist gravity. Or maybe just don't do any of that. Press the hand on the heart, hand on the stomach, or out to the sides. Just reconnect with your breath. Your breath is the most unchangeable thing in the practice. I mean, I know we breathe differently, but we never stop breathing. That is the unchangeable aspect. So really tune into your breath. Find the honesty. Here is this challenging for you. Is this too easy for you? You can maybe take it into a little bit more of a diamond shape. Two more breaths. And now bring the knees back together. Exhale, arms up to a T. Inhale here. Exhale, drop the knees towards the left. Bring the gaze to the right. Supine twist. For this twist, you can adjust however you so feel fit. You can extend the top leg and catch it in the left hand. Keep the knees stacked. Maybe you splay them open. Good. One more deep breath. Inhale, bring the knees back up. And exhale, take the knees to the right, gaze to the left. Do your best to mimic what you did on one side with the other. Awesome. Inhale, knees come back, arms to the cheek. Exhale, bring it into a ball. Hmm. Just kind of do a little roly poly here, side to side, forward and back. Maybe just take some circles with the knees. One direction. Right. Also, play with opening the knees and bringing them together or pulling them out. And hug it in one more time. Use the inhale, lift the shoulders up off the mat, bring the forehead close to the knees as possible. Exhale, stay in the bowl. 
Inhale, stay in the ball, but create tension everywhere. Squeeze, engage all the muscles. And exhale, slowly release. Extending one leg and the other. Feet can go wide, arms can go wide. Eyes can flutter, close. Release the breath. And settle into Shavasana. Now to begin to return from your meditative state, bringing awareness back into your body and back into the space with gentle movements of the finger, not the tools. Slowly as you let, hug yourself into a tight, tiny ball once more. And then the next time you find yourself exhaling, roll onto your right side. Just take this moment here to honor and acknowledge your practice today and all the transformation that has occurred within your mind, within your body, and within your soul. Slowly as you like, come on up into a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes fluttered closed or soft gaze and bringing the hands to heart center. Ending the practice today with an inhale and an exhale on, if you so wish to join me. Inhaling all together. Oh.
Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. I hope it was a wonderful practice and I hope to practice with you again shortly. Any questions, comments, feedback, please feel free to comment below or reach out to me through Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, it's all Lexi Core Yoga. I love any and all feedback, constructive criticism and all. I'd like to try and keep learning and growing as a teacher. And if there's anything that you think that might aid in that or anything that you liked and you want me to keep doing, I'd love to hear about it. That is all I have for today. Uh, we will continue the Yamas next Saturday, same time. Really liking my hands right here right now. But, uh, yes, so thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, afternoon, whenever you're practicing. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.